Dear students, in this module, we are going to talk about what holds society together, why people are living in groups. As compared to a milder time, Ferdinand Tonis has an identical but slightly different view. Ferdinand Tonis uh, was a German sociologist. For him, what holds society together are two forces, which he calls the Gemeinschaft and Gesellschaft. Uh, he sees that each involves a different type of solidarity or cohesiveness. Like Gemeinschaft means that it's a communal uh, association or sense of we feeling. Um, when we say that uh, sense of we feeling, it means that we can um, we can imagine that as an individual we are part of a collectivity. It is not that I am living for myself. It is not that uh, I am only responsible for my own task. I am only responsible for my own actions. It is by uh, supposing that people around me are my own part. People around me are the part of that collectivity to which I belong. So a very moderate dream of labor, strong personal ties, uh, sometimes very emotional relationships are developed. Uh, in in the Gemeinschaft where people uh, do uh, know each other by their personal feelings, by their personal relationships and personal ties. So strong family relationships uh, exist and a sense of personal loyalty do exist in uh, the societies which can be classified based on this Gemeinschaft. What becomes more important is the, the informality of relationships. As we see that, in, uh, or we frequently observe in the rural areas, where people are much more informal in a way that they know each other, they can trust each other, they can uh, have that sense of uh, belongingness for each other, and th their we feeling uh, develops if one of them do something the other people can own it. Whereas we can see in the uh, societies ca which can be distinguished based on Gesellschaft are uh, based on relationships um, which are much more uh, formal, relatively impersonal uh, and less intimate. Uh, it means that um, the that task specialization has produced the societies or has produced the relationship in which we uh, do not necessarily produce the feelings or emotions that can uh, make us together or that can bound us together rather it is the uh, it is that interdependence it is that specialization of tasks that is producing our we feeling uh, although we are the part of a complex whole, yet we do not uh, characteristically own it in a way that okay, each one of the individual can possess or can have or can spend his or her own life by becoming part of that complex society.